I was just mesmerized and I was like kind of in a trance. It's almost like you were in space, but like you're not and there's gravity. I would describe it as if I was walking into a magical realm and I feel like I had control over everything. A simple building transformed into a captivating palace of digital art, Arctic House is a unique experience for visitors in Washington, D.C. Lauren Rappaport is a recent college graduate and started working at Arctic House soon after it opened in 2017. We've contemplated um, how younger people are attracted here, and I do think nowadays a lot of people are ex more drawn towards experiences. <laughs> Newer places that actually put you inside of these artworks. So there's more representation, there's more ways to actually see yourself. This exhibition is asking you to contemplate the concept of infinity and what it means to be a human being in the 21st century. I didn't even know it was going to be digital. Stepping in and seeing the first enormous room with totally like immersed in the experience. Some criticize the way people rely on their phones to capture the moment instead of fully living in the present. But at Arctic House, they actually encourage guests to use their phones to bring the art to life. We do encourage people to use their phones, especially with our augmented reality. Um, we have an app for it. We have cocktails that actually will come to life through the augmented reality. It's just another way for people to see the art in different forms. A lot of people think that this newer medium, that it's just a screensaver that you can see on the wall. There's a lot more that usually goes into it. This exhibit is called Infinite Space. It's by an artist called Rafiq Anadol, and it kind of explores just the possibilities of infinity. The NASA data that's represented through here. So it's also exploring a lot of technological and scientific themes. So the best reactions is when people just succumb to their emotions. Check it out! It's amazing. We've had visitors come in here and either start crying immediately because they were so overwhelmed by with how pretty it was or whatever it was, it just struck a chord within them. It's a very small space, but it makes you want to stay forever almost. Whenever you are ready, you can follow me into Explore Infinite Space. For PBS NewsHour Student Reporting Labs, this is Caleb Velez from Washington, D.C.